Hi, my name is Ryan McNally and this is my 17th uh, video log on the UCLan coaching experience module. Um, I've had a, about a month off now from coaching, um, just with over the Christmas break. Um, and I thought it'd be a great time to give myself a period of reflection, uh, to go over the start of the season, well, we're halfway through the season now, and, and to kind of reflect over it. Um, so it's been really, really good to kind of look back and, and think about what I've done, what I could do better, what I've missed out on, the opportunities I've taken, the opportunities I haven't, um, and kind of look back over my work on the module as well and see how that's improved, what I've missed out on, uh, what could be better about it, and also what I've covered and kind of see if I've improved on that, uh, that kind of that kind of side of the story. Um, so looking through it, possi possibly from... The start of the season definitely being given my own age group has really given me a lot more responsibility in my coaching role um, and I've absolutely loved it because it's given me a chance to develop my my set of players um, not just supporting really kind of promoting the message um, and trying to, to promote the ideas that I want to get across but also what Preston wants to get across as well um, and it's been hugely beneficial for me to kind of to kind of get a grasp of what I feel like I want to be as a coach and who I want to be. Um, but I feel like it's been a really really positive start for me. Um, and I feel like the reason I'm reflecting is is to kind of give myself that well done, but to also kick on, um, and also to look at new ways of coaching coming into the next half of the season this can be backed up by Crane um, et al in 2019 who said reflection is such a um, a beneficial process to undertake especially for a coach as it allows us to stimulate the search for person driven alternative uh, approaches so it's looking for different ways I can improve my coaching but also my players and you know and, and trial and an, er an error approach almost because that's the only way you're going to see if it succeeds or fails. And, and, you know, we want our players to take risks as well. So I should be able to, to take risks and reflect on if it was good or bad. Hence the video logs, which is a really useful tool for me to reflect on if they were good or bad. So it, it, it's been a really, really beneficial few few months for me now. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Looking back at my uni work, reflecting on it, my university work over the first semester, uh, I've been really, really happy with how it's going. I'm really enjoying my course and and the development and processes that I'm going through and improving all the time. And I can see it in, in the terminology I'm using, the mannerisms I'm, I'm using while I'm coaching. Um, and even things like where I'm specifically focusing on two to three different um, coaching styles and characteristics throughout the season I can see myself improving on them subconsciously um, and even now when I'm coaching and I can I'll do something and I'll realize that I didn't have that in my in my arsenal um, a couple of months ago before the start of the season um, and it, to me that's a real real positive sign that I'm developing as a coach and, and that I'm working hard to get these characteristics nailed on it and trying to improve that original set of scores that I set myself out that my peers set out as well um, at the start of the season and trying to improve them and, and looking to, to uh, most importantly become a better coach um, there, I feel like there are one or two things that on reflection that haven't been as good as I wish they should have been um, regarding coaching I feel like I haven't really got to know my players as highly or as detailed as I wanted to but obviously that that is one of the key things that I've talked about a lot and it's something that I will always strive to be better at because I, I am a people's person and want to know what how people are how they're doing um, and I feel like it can really underpin some of the work that I do by getting to know them I can lean towards their preferred style of coaching or how they prefer to learn um, and I just feel like if I can under, if I can really hit that on the head going into the start of the, the new year it can it can really push me on for really good things with my group um, but 
This can be backed up by research done by Hugh Ray in 2008, who said it's important for coaches to have knowledge of the emotional side of managing a relationship with a player and all its consequences. Now, I think that's really valuable to me because especially at the age I, I coach, they have a lot of emotions running throughout a session. They might experience five to, five to eight different emotional responses throughout a session. And if I can handle them, I can really kind of knuckle down and say, I'm, you know, I'm working towards learning on a new experience. I'm, I'm learning how to deal with anger or frustration or, or even pride. You know, some some of them get really, really proud when they do something right, and it's how do I handle that? Because if I give them too much, then is there going to be a, a feeling of you know compensation where they can relax? But you know, I'm I'm learning to deal with that all the time, and I feel like it's really, really um, beneficial for me as well. But yeah, overall, um, it has been a really successful five, four, five months in my coaching development pathway. Um, you know, I've been given my own team. I've been accepted onto my UA for B coaching course. Um, you know, it's vital for me to continue my professional development alongside developing my players. Um, but as well as university, I'm really, really happy at how I'm developing as well. And the player, the, the coach that I'm trying to mould into. And I'm really, really enjoying the process that I'm going through.